Heresy. I mean, real heresy. I don't want you guys to come around to my house with a bunch of flaming torches based on what I'm going to tell you about color. Do you think color matters on doors? Well, let me tell you what science says. Stay tuned. It's the middle of winter here in Wilmington, North Carolina, and so I've got to find other things to do other than go fishing because it's just too cold out. So I spend the time trying to learn more and fine tune my technique. Now for the all of my 70 years of life, I've heard that color matters, that this lure might work and this lure might not work just based on the color of the lure. I mean, we've all had that conversation with other anglers. Hey, what's working today? Oh, green, red. Well, I read a great article by a well-known Australian writer named Steve Starling. He did some great research. Basically, every color produces a different wavelength. And those wavelengths will go through different distances of water before they just disappear. And so there are some consistent things that I'll get into at the end of the video, but let's get right to this color issue first. And as you can see from this chart, what he discovered is that red disappears quickly, whereas black can be seen from a, a farther distance away. And it doesn't really matter whether it's the vertical distance or the horizontal distance. In fact, I'll just flip this on its side because that's the context that I work on. I'm, I'm looking at how far away I am from a fish. So what this tells me is that the lure color isn't going to attract a fish from a great distance away. If I'm using a red door and the fish is 40 feet away, well, it's just not going to see it. Now, it may sense it based on the, vo my, the vibration of the lure or the scent I might have on it because it's got its lateral lines and it's got its little nose, but it's just not going to see it visually. So while Steve concludes that color doesn't matter, I kind of disagree with him because I think that once you've attracted the fish with the motion of the lure, then it gets close enough to see yellow, blue, red, you know, whatever. It gets close enough to actually see the lure and then it'll make its final decision of, oh yeah, I wanted to bite a green lure today. I don't want that red one. And that is where I think color is going to matter. Now where color always matters to kind of wrap this up is when the water is stained. So if you're in silty or clay water, it's just the truth that you have to use a dark color lure. If you've got water that's heavily infected with algae, well then a two-tone lure uh, may work better. And if you have tannic acid stained water like you have up in the Northeast, well then go with dark as well. Now on sunny days, you know, silver, gold, bright that's going to reflect that sun, those are the go-tos. On a cloudy day, the ultraviolet light still gets through, and that's where you need a fluorescent door if color is going to matter, because that's going to make it glow. So there you go. I've got some interesting thoughts on how this applies to my LED doors that I've been playing with over the last two seasons, and I'll put that in the next video, because this confirms what my buddy and I have discovered in practical application. So what's your experience with color? Do you agree that color doesn't matter from a distance, but maybe is the key thing when that fish gets up close to sea? Throw it down below. Thanks.